Good afternoon, MMTs. Markets just closed, as we know. The thing that we're looking at is, once again, is the S&P 1800 and two yearly high at all-time highs. We had a little blurp over here in the, in, in, in the pullback. Now, what we have been saying to people, our MMTs, is the fact that there's the resistance of the all-time highs. We had a little pullback and they ran it up. This is a daily chart. Now, what we are saying is the 10 and the 20-day simple moving averages at 1777 are coming into play. The 20-week moving average is coming into play. That's going to be 1769. The key factor is where does the S&P start to end up from its very, very overbought exuberant level in the S&P 500 index. This is normally the best time of year for stocks to make big rallies for Thanksgiving and Christmas. The problem that we're having with that is the following. Number one, it's already priced in the market. Number two, it's too overbought. So the rally could be selling ha ha what do i mean by that all everybody wants it to go up a lot of people come late to the market in these rallies um this is just showing you the last correction here and a pullback we're talking about a pullback that's what we're talking about so i'm going to blow up this part of the chart for us and it's going to be right about here this is the whole upside leg, run up, consolidated, consolidated in here, made the all-time high. It's The problem is it's so overbought, and we showed it on a weekly level. Here on the weekly chart, we had featured a couple of days ago, how do we, why are we so accurate about it, is, is that the complacency, the lack of fear, the bull and bear percent index, meaning that everyone's all in. Everyone's all in. Uh, very few people uh, are looking at the risk. There are a number of stocks that have come down significantly that people are caught in, such as uh, Tesla, LinkedIn, just to mention a couple of them. There are a lot more. However, what we want to be clear about is why that S&P is so overbought in this weekly level to absurdity levels. So the way it works is that people are chasing stocks people who have underperformed the mom and pop investor retail trader they're all wanting to get in the market they always do in stage three never in stage one and two no they wait and wait and wait and wait however this is one of the most hated rallies on wall street let's be clear about that the next thing on this weekly chart is is that there's a couple of standard public indicators we don't use these charts we just use them to let the public know what the public is thinking. We have a market maker application. One of the things that we will tell you under trading platforms, market maker features, is that you can click on that tab. You can learn everything that you need to learn. And we have our own platform. That is a market maker platform that we developed. If you go to trading and click on the free trial tab, it's very simple. Get started today. Five days you get to spend with us. Yes, five days if you're really serious about these markets. Another thing, call us and you'll get the test drive. Under the trading tab, open an account. Here, you can go through the content, click the open account page, get started today. We will give you trading capital. You heard what I said. Your account will be funded with trading capital. If you have a problem understanding that, then call us and we'll be happy to go over that with you. We will help you with the money. It takes money to make money. Pattern day trading rule. If your account's below $25,000 and you make more than three trades intraday in a rolling five-day weekly period, the little online discount brokerage firms, you're going to be, it's an exchange rule, you're going to be stuck to trading cash only it takes money to make money go over the page please read it carefully just take the time to see the advantages that you will get under trading school go go here we have a great one read the content once again 
you'll be able to read the content and, and spend a, a trial period with this. 76% off. Get started today. Click the tab. Get started today. Back to the weekly S&P. The first pullback within this extreme bull run will be the 10-week moving average, and we're looking at 1741 to test it. The lower 20-week moving average is running right around 17.08. The and this is the weekly chart. These are the weekly moving averages. So what we're calling for, like we always do, we're not saying that, you know, this is a bear market and all is bad. What we are saying clearly is the market is overvalued, extremely overvalued, even in the best time of the year. These are your best months. So when this bull does pull back like it's done three times this year, we called every pullback in the market and you can make money and how do you make money well I'm going to show you right here when these things pull back they made higher highs and then made higher highs and when we pull back here we're going into another brand new year I can show you right here on the put side 1795 S&P index puts 4800 traded we bought five of them today at, at uh, $25.10. So as the market falls, these go up in value. Another thing we'll be clear about the S&P, my friends, is the 1790 put had 12,600 contracts traded on the index today. So a lot of people are committed themselves to say, hey, that this S&P 500 is going to go lower. So it's a short using the put options of the 1790s. That's the uh, volume traded. One of the other things we'll show you today is there was a lot of put buying. This is a minority side of the market. Look at here, 1760, 9,400 contracts purchased. These are institutions per purchasing the big volume side for the S&P pullback that we have called. And every time we get these pullbacks, this is the daily chart, is where the lower end of the 40-day and the 50-day moving averages are. 50 days at 17.28. The 50-day is, once again, 17.28. The 100-day simple moving average is what? I can tell you, 16.98. So, when we are in this overbought category in the S&P 500, it has a history of shaking the bull out, as it should. It's been a one-way move for calendar 2013 to date of 1119. Thanksgiving holidays upon us. Christmas holidays upon us. So, in my view, the easy money's been made. They've ran the markets. Markets are overvalued here in the short term. And 2014, I will tell you in 2014, just in this update, we will have a 10% correction at some point in 2014. I'm not going to pinpoint the day, the week, or the month. What I will say that on each and every day with the analysis, the mathematical equations are pointing in a 10% 10 10 correction. Be aware, like we've always said, whenever we get to these ex irrational exuberant tops, complacency, complacency, complacency. It reminds me of your 1999 and the first part of year 2000 is that the bear had been in control of these markets for 12 years now the bull has gotten one upside year out of the last 12 and made all these highs month after month during this calendar year of 2013 however just sharing with you MMTs and our traders around the world is is that these things can wash that bull out a real bull market is not one-sided it's not a one-sided market just continuously up day after day after day after day these markets have been terribly manipulated in lots of ways high computing frequencies what do I mean they push the bids up they've done it all year and in individual equities the investors should be aware right now if you're a trader you can manage 
these trades very nicely but if you're a buy and hold person and we go into these corrections it's not a very comfortable position to be in and that is what's coming upon these markets even in the traditional historically speaking when markets are their very strongest this is a perfect time from a contrarian view is to sell against the crowd 